Hi and welcome everyone. Today I'm going to be covering Microsoft Access 2016. And we have a video request from Carrie. Carrie says, would you do a video on how to do a subform? Well, I'm going to make that video right now and it's a good question because subforms are on the MOS certification exam. So I'm going to show you what they could be used for and how to do them right now. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so we see a table that I have, uh, or a database that I've created right here. It, I have two tables on it, a table for lab supplies and a table for vendors. All right, so I'm gonna open up both tables to show you what's in them. And we see here, let me close this field list. All right, we see here we have our lab supplies, which show all of the different lab supplies that we're going to need. And then the vendors, basically the people that sell us these lab supplies. All right, so I wanna create a form based off of these, but not just a form, a sub form, which utilizes both tables. All right, so let's take a look at the vendors. These are all of our different vendors here. Now I'm interested in getting the vendor ID, so I can tell the ID of the vendor and the vendor name. And then I want on that form, I also want it to display the lab supplies. I want it to display the item ID and the item name. So here's how I would create a subform to do that. First, I make sure all objects are closed. Then I go to the Create tab. Then I go to the Forms group, and I click right here on Form Wizard. I click Form Wizard to open that up. The Form Wizard dialog box will appear right here, and then I can choose the table or the query that I want to select for my form and subform. All right, so right here I see I have two tables. Those are my two choices right there. So the first one I want to select is vendor. I see I have vendor ID right here and vendor name. I select both of those fields because I want them to be in my form. All right, now I'm going to click on the lab supplies. Now I want to get the item ID and the item name from my lab supplies. All right, once I have the selected fields that I want right here, I'm going to click next. All right, now it says, how do you want to view your data? All right, we see both of our uh, tables right here. We see by vendor is on top and by lab supplies is on bottom. Now I see a preview right here of what this form and sub form are going to look like with vendor ID right there, followed by vendor name and then item ID and item name. All right, now you could switch these up, but typically you're going to leave it as is by the first one that you want and you'll make sure that form with subforms is selected right there. Then you'll click finish or next. It, it'll give you more options here and you can leave it as data sheet or tabular. And then you can choose your name and your other options here. I'm just going to click finish. And we see now that it creates my forms right here and it uh, sets that as lab supplies subform. I see that I have my vendor ID, my vendor name, and then within the subform right here, I see all of the different lab supplies associated with that vendor. So as I scroll through, I could see all of my different options and it looks like everything is all set. So that's how you create a subform. Remember, it could be very useful because again, you can incorporate both tables onto one form. So I hope that you found this video useful. I hope that it answers your question, Carrie. If you have a video request yourself, put it in the comment section and I'll go ahead and make a video based off of your request. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you so much for watching.